Well, good afternoon. I'm on my way to Cardiff today. As you can see, I am on the train. It just started to rain, which is not very handy. But not to worry, I've got my waterproof camera if all else fails. there we are look building works continuing transforming the look of Cardiff <laughs> right so my first port of call today is to go to Timadeira restaurant because I tried to reserve a table online for us to eat tonight me and my boyfriend and my daughter but I haven't heard back from them and it said on the website if you don't hear back from us don't assume you've got a booking so I'm gonna just call in now Ooh, do you know what? I'm going to pop in there and buy a lead. I've been meaning to buy a lead for ages. I think it's open. Yay, I now have a new lead for my gigging. Good, because I just wanted a spare. I had one already, but I wanted one in case my other one broke. So I think Timadeira is down here somewhere. Or did I walk past it already? That's the Pie Minister in there. I've been in there before. Ah, uh, here it is, Timadeira. Good success. This is two lots of success already. Bought the lead and also we have a reservation for, well, five o'clock because it was a two hour slot, but we probably won't get there till half five. Hey, guess what? Christmas lights are actually lit already. I think I have picked the windiest day I could have possibly picked to come in, but at least the rain has stopped now. I'm gonna pop through Cardiff Indoor Market. Christmas market. I might come back and have a little look at these later, but first of all, I need to find something to eat because I am starving. I seem to be taking a bit of a random route into town. I'm aiming for my favourite pasty place basically because I haven't had one for ages and that's what I feel like having now to tide me over till our restaurant date. That's St David's Cathedral there by the way. I used to go there when I was little occasionally. It wasn't our local one but sometimes we'd go there for a change. I got a feeling I got christened in there as well. Oh the wind! <laughs> Blowing all the leaves everywhere. Oops. Ah, it's the Cornish Bakehouse, that's where I'm heading now. Pasty o'clock. Just gonna have a little look at the selection. I usually end up getting cheese and mushroom because it's my fave. Cheers. It's just starting to rain. I was going to sit outside the bakehouse on one of the chairs there at a table, but oh, 
I'm going to stop in now, but I've decided I'm going to go and find a bench in St. David's Centre where it's dry at least. Christmassy in here too. Aha, somebody just vacated this at the right moment. I reckon I'm going to pop in here actually to look for presents for Isabel, although I think she's grown out of a lot of that sort of thing now. Izzy's gone off Doctor Who now because she doesn't like the new series so I don't suppose I'll be getting her Doctor Who stuff anymore Chopping board <laughs> I was wondering what that was then I'm just stopping to have a quick look at the decorations hanging up there Oh look, bilingual Tiger, that's good for presents, I'm going in there. Oh, that's a nice little Christmas tree. <laughs> Takes up a bit less space in the house, doesn't it? Wondering if I should get a basket. Maybe should. Optimistic, maybe. Oh, what have we got here in the way of Christmassy things? Ooh, Christmas cookies. One of those make a gingerbread house kits. We never ended up eating them, that's the thing. Well, we only ever made one, but nobody wanted to eat it after it was made. Ball balls. I want Izzy to choose the other one though. I have one of these ridiculous Christmas tree hats at home. Actually, I think mine might be slightly different. That is a big advent calendar for four pound. Apparently it's filled with little gifts. Cute alphabet puzzle for six pound. I'd have loved that as a kid. One pound. Remote control snail, anyone? For eight pounds. Success, I have bought my first presents. I'm so pleased. I'm gonna have a quick look at these diaries and calendars now. that Robin again. Can you tell I'm perky and how I've had food? <laughs> There's a Robin up there on the top as well, look. It's all decorated up there as well. Now I've got about 40 minutes until I'm meeting my boyfriend. That's all candles in there. Hmm, now this might be a good place for Christmas presents. Mini so. Believe it or not, I've come out of there without buying anything. Really crowded in town. I'm gonna head into that place over there, see how the decorations are. Probably similar to this, I would expect. Very twinkly. Got these great big branchy things here, look. Bet they look lovely from outside. They've got flares. You know, I like flares. Ooh. What? 9.99? Buy me. That's the third what I paid for these that I'm wearing. 
Ahem, turns out it's referring to the belt, <laughs> not the trousers. They're $27.99. about where to go I'm just following my nose really and uh, not pressuring myself to get much yet uh, which always ends up in me getting more <laughs> got these fancy things for us because there's no doors or anything nobody can actually go behind it must be for show I know where I need to look the little Christmas market shacks just kind of depends on the weather though if it's raining I'd rather not I'll go another day if it's raining loads more calendars in there look I've just seen the time I'm meeting my boyfriend in 20 minutes and by the time I've walked to where I'm going to meet him that'll take up 10 of minutes so I'll probably have to do the market another time. Oh that looks pretty in there, more candles, they seem to be all the rage at the moment. This way. Oh, it's wet. I'm gonna put my coat on. The wind! Oh my goodness. I'm getting blown about. <laughs> oh dear. Right. I'm gonna go meet my boyfriend and we'll probably have coffee and I sit down and just relax and chat and then we're gonna meet Izzy an hour after that. I just took my mask off and there were pasty crumbs under there. They must have been there the whole time since I was eating that pasty. <laughs> oh, noisy seagulls. They're doing more work here, look. Done a full circle, look, this St. David's Cathedral again. <laughs> I'm with my beloved, the non-invisible knee. Give me a pat. Um, he's bought me a cappuccino and I'm drinking water. I must confess this is my first caffeine in about three days. I'm, I'm risking it. Look over there though, if we weren't going for a meal now, we'd be well getting into those cakes. Look at the cakey goodness. Mm, what else have we got? Oh yes. Oh, any more? Yes. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And there's more as well. More up there. Yeah, quite comfy. IB's just scooted off down the road. He's on a mission. I'm looking after the drinks. He's just going to see if he can book himself in for a sight test while he's here. We're on our way to the restaurant. I have my boyfriend and my daughter with me now. That looks rather gorgeous, all lit up in the dark, doesn't it? Look, it's Santa's Grotto. IB and I have been sat in Nata & Co for an hour fiddling with that flipping gimbal I brought it with me today and it was just thrashing around like an eel. <sighs> I'm going to have to spend more time with it before I bring it to any more crowded urban locations. I'm going to practice with it in the woods. The castle's got lights all over it and there is, you can't see it very well, but there's a Christmas tree twinkling away over there near the entrance. I'm loving all the lights, it feels so festive, but the good thing is it's not actually cold. We are approaching Tea Madeira. By the way, tea is Welsh for house. Don't know if it's busy or not. I'm sitting looking at the menu at the moment. I've actually decided I'm going to try swordfish. I don't think I've tried swordfish before. We're having some water for our drinks, as he's got coke actually. 
my food has arrived. I accidentally ordered monkfish, but I don't mind, it's okay. There it is, they've brought um, potatoes in a separate thing. That's cauliflower and batter, as Ivy's chicken tea Madeira. And Izzy's gone for a sirloin steak, and she said it's very nice. We're all quite full, that was absolutely delicious. Melt in the mouth, it was the perfect flavour, really succulent, everybody said the same about their various dishes. Now we've been sat right by the dessert counter and it's influenced us to all order dessert. And I've got Ferrero Rocher mousse coming and so is Isabel. And Ivy's gone for like a giant slice of giant pastel de nut. <laughs> oh, no. How is it Izzy? Delicious. Delicious. Can I film your yeah. slice of giant pastel de nata? It's very delicate. All right, what does he think then? He's giving a thumbs up mm, off lovely. camera. Lovely. Mm. And you got a strawberry with it as well. <laughs> I've got nuts on mine, but I asked uh, none for Izzy just in case it wasn't hazel. What? I'm eating it uglily. I'm eating it uglily? <laughs> yes. Is that even a word? <laughs> yes, uglily. <laughs> that is good. That is. It is yeah. This is unbelievably delicious oh. random Christmas sleigh I think eh? we're off that was awesome really enjoyed that got a lovely walk back now looking at the Christmas lights all the way back to the car park ah oh, they're nice up there market huts are all shut up for the night now there's German bratwurst available there at this time in the evening and there are those stars We've just got back in, it is 10 past 8 in the evening. We had such a nice family night out, it was really, really lovely. Should have done it ages ago. Mind you, it's been a bit hard in the pandemic, but anyway. I would definitely go there again. That is mwah, beautiful. I really enjoyed it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, could you give it a like? It does help channels to grow. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my stories, do hit the subscribe button. I make daily vlogs, usually. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.